Hey there, Booktube. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a list challenge from the website List Challenges because I love a really good book list and I love to go through a list of books that are curated by someone else and see how many of the books I've read and I love to challenge you and see if you've read more of the books that I have. Quite often you have <laughs> because I've read a lot over my lifetime, but somehow just not the books that are popular, it seems. In any case, today we're going to go through a list of, oh, where does it say? It's supposed to be on here. Maybe I scroll down. It is 200 incredible books by women, 200 books written by women, ranging from fiction, memoir, essay, poetry, and more. This person who created this list, Louise Charles, I don't know who she is. But Louise Charles says that these are 200 incredible books by women. And since August is Women in Translation Month, even though these are not books necessarily that were translated from another language to English, books can be translated from any language, especially if a book is popular, I guess you get it translated in other languages. So if you're not necessarily an English reader, these could have been Women in Translation books for you. So we're just going to go through this list without any preamble. There are 200 books. I'm going to see how many of them I've read. And maybe you'll tell me in the comments down below how many of them you've read as well. So let's start. Charlotte Perkins Gilman, The Yellow Wallpaper. No. Written on the Body, Jeanette Winterson. No. Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. No. But I have read Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. And sorry, I don't have that screen grabby thing that's popular. I'm just using my camera to show you as I scroll down my computer. So, Sex and Rage by Eve Babbitts, no. Joan Didion, I haven't read anything by her, so no, I haven't read the White Album. Cold Comfort Farm in Sussex by Stella Gibbons, no. Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan is on my TBR, but I have not read it. Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie, I haven't read Half the Yellow Sun, although I have read most of her other books. So sad that this is the one that's here. Angela Carter's Wise Children, no. The Bone People by Terry Hull, no, I have not read that, even though I have it on my TBR this month. I haven't read it yet. This is a 1985 um, Man Booker Prize winner. White Teeth by Zadie Smith, I have read. I read this when it first came out years ago. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, no. And Frank Darrow for Young Girl, yes. The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula Le Guin, no. Amy Bender, The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake, no. Banana Yoshimoto, Kitchen, I haven't read anything by Banana Yoshimoto. Banana is a woman? I don't even know that I knew that. Okay, Not So Quiet by Helen Zena Smith, no. Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit, Jeanette Winterson, no. Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay, I have not read this one. Although I have read others of her books. Mirelle Spark. I haven't read anything by her, so no, not the prime of Miss Jean Brody. Although that is definitely on my TBR as well. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. No. I also haven't read anything by Daphne du Maurier yet, but I will. Jane Eyre. I read this earlier this year and loved it, although I've read it earlier in my life. Played as it lays by Joan Didion. No. So, Diana Gabaldon. Outlander. No. Hunger Games. I have read. Suzanne Collins trilogy. I think I've read all the books. Kim Gordon, A Girl in a Band. No. Zadie Smith, Swing Time. No. Flannery O'Connor's Wise Blood. No. Chimaman and Gozia Dietrich's Purple Hibiscus. No, I haven't read that one either. Harriet Jacobs, Instant in the Life of a Slave Girl. No. Isabel Allende, The House of the Spirits. No. This is not going well, guys. Ruby Red by Lindsay Glass. Or is it Lindsay Glass by Ruby Red? <laughs> Ruby Red by Lindsay Glass. No, The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory. I've watched the movie, but I don't think I've read the book. The Female Man by Joanna Ross. No, Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. No. You know, when I was in college, I used to think about reading this book every summer. There was a, there might even still be a competition to write an essay about this book and qualify for a scholarship of some sort. And I always thought about it, but I never actually read the book. We by this name, Yevgeny Zamyatin. Uh, no. The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula Le Guin. No. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. Yes. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Yes. So, of the first seven, of the first 40, I've read seven. Okay. 
let's keep going I let Waldman a really good day no where do you go Bernadette yes the Mars room yes beloved yes I've read all of these in the last year or so Maria Samples, where do you go Bernadette I read earlier this year the Mars room by Rachel Kushner was shortlisted or longlisted for the band booker last year and beloved by Toni Morrison yes the late Toni Mar Morrison now just Kids by Patti Smith, I haven't read that one. Flies by Olga Talker Joke, I have read and it's on my TBR to reread this month. Outline by Rachel Kusk, no. The Night Circus by Erin Morgan Stern, no. Daphne du Maurier again, Jamaica Inn, no. The Sea the Sea by Iris Murdoch, yes, this is a Booker Prize winning novel I've read. Zadie Smith's N.W., no. Villette by Charlotte Bronte, no. Mm, Afro Ben. Oronoko, no. A Vindication of the Rights of Men, A Vindication of the Rights of Women by Mary Wollstonecraft, no. Agatha Christie's and then there were none, no. Iris Murdoch's The Black Prince, no. I would like to read more by Iris Murdoch though. That book, The Sea, The Sea was actually really interesting. Philippa Gregory, The Constant Princess, no. Elizabeth the Queen by Alison Ware, no. Transit by Rachel Cusk, no. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, I have taken out to read so many times and I haven't. Joan Didion's Slouching Toward Bethlehem, no. I also haven't read any Octavia Butler, so no, I haven't read Kindred. And Rainbow Rose, I've read most of her books. I have not read Carry On or Fangirl. Have I read Fangirl? No, I didn't read Fangirl. I think Fangirl carries on from Carry On, or there's a link, but no, I haven't read either of those, I don't think. Strange Meeting, Susan Hill, no. Emma by Jane Austen, yes, I've read all the Austen books. Virginia Woolf's Orlando, no. Adichie, We Should All Be Feminists, um, yes. Harry Potter and the, Philip Philosoph and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling, no. Is that the first Harry Potter? I've only read the first one. Catherine Mansfield, The Garden Party, no. The Color Purple by Alice Walker, yes. Florida by Lauren Groff, no. Swamplandia by Karen Russell, no. Wild by Cheryl Strayed. Mm, I don't think I finished reading this book. I started, but I don't think I finished, so I'm not going to mark it. Annie Nin, Little Birds, no. Kudos by Rachel Kusk, no. This person, this list curator, really likes this author. Apache by Tanya Landman, no. Zadie Smith on Beauty. I think I've read this one. I think I've read two Zadie Smith books. I think this is the other one. Mansfield Park, yes. Jane Austen, I've read all her books. Pond by Claire Louise Bennett, no. Taming the Queen by Philippa Gregory, no. So we're at 17 out of 80. Oh my. Uh, will I even get 50 out of this 200? It's not good, guys. Ursula Le Guin, the world, the word for world is forest. No, Joan Didion, Blue Nights. If I had just read more Joan Didion, I would have been doing better on this test. Against Our Better Judgment by Alison Ware, no. Pearl Buck, The Good Earth, yes, read this earlier this year. Minjin Lee's Pachinko, no. Moving on to Jane Austen, North Anger Abbey, yes. Virginia Woolf's The Waves, no. How to Build a Girl by Kathleen Moran, no. Sharon and My Mother-in-Law by Swad Amory, no. Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel, no. Run River by Joan Didion, no. Ace by its Possession, this is also a Man Booker winning novel that I have not yet read. Mocking Jay by Susan Collins, yes, I've read all of them. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling, no. How will I know which one's the first one? Ah, anyway, Rainbow Rowell's Landline, I have read. Necrophiliac by Gabrielle Wicktop, no. Otesha, Mosfegs, My Year of Rest and Relaxation, no. The Virgin's Lover by Philippa Gregory, no. To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, no. Sense and Sensibility, yes. A Wizard of Earthsea, no. Pat Barker's Regeneration, no. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, no. Persepolis, Marjan Strap. Yes, I read that earlier this year. Ariel by Sylvia Plath. No, Delta de Venus by Annie Nin. June Didion, The Year of Magical Thinking. No, 
The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, I have read. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, yes. Upstream by Mary Oliver, no. Nice of the Circus by Angela Carter, no. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, no. I don't know. Telex from Cuba by Rachel Kushner, no. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, yes. In a German Pension by Catherine Mansfield, no. And The Outsiders by S.C. Hinton, no. Ooh, Nerve by Jean Ryan, no. Middlemarch by George Eliot, no. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, yes. Washington Black by Ezio Dujian, yes. So we're up to 28 out of 120, oh my. All right, Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead. This is Olga Tokarczuk's current book. I haven't read it yet, but I wanna read it. I'm hoping to read it this month too. Ursula Le Guin's The Dispossessed, No, Beggars in Spain by Nancy Cress, No, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling, No, The Hell by Catherine Stockett, No, The Bees by Laleen Paul, Yes, Harper Lee's Ghost at a Watchman, No, Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne-Jones, No, P.D. James' The Children of Men, No, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han, Unbelievably, Yes, I Have Read That Book. Angie Thomas is the hate you give. I did not read. Gertrude Stein, the autobiography of Alice to be talkless. No. Susan Sontag on photography. No. Simone de Beauvoir, the second sex. No. Margaret Atwood's Oryx and Craig. No. I know why the cage bird sings. Yes. I have a read aloud of that on my channel. If you're interested in reading it and don't have a copy of the book, you can listen to me read it on my channel. Efuru by Flora Nwapa, no. Free Women, Free Men, Sex, Gender, Feminism by Camille Paglia. No, but I'd like to check that out. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, no. Ursula Le Guin, The Tombs of Atuan, no. Jeanette Winterson, Sex and the Cherry, no. The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter, no. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, yes. And I have Red Persuasion by Jane Austen. North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, no. Salas Marner by George Eliot, no. Agnes Gray by Anne Bronte, no. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, no. At some point, I'm going to have to mark one of these red because I have read one of the Harry Potter books. I just don't remember what. I don't remember the title of the first one. Is it The Philosopher's Stone? I'm going to have to look that up. Joan Didion, A Book of Common Prayer, no. Like Water for Chocolate, yes. Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger, no. Good Night, Mr. Tom by Michelle Magorian, no. Margaret Atwood's Alias Grace, no. The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot, no. The Complete Poems of Emily Dickinson, no. Kathy Acker, Blood and Guts in High School, no. The Price of Salt by Patricia Highsmith, no. Heidi by Joanne Spiri was one of my favorite books when I was a child. Tove Jansen's Comet in Moonland, no, but I have read her summer book. The Farthest Shore by Ursula Le Guin, no. Uh, how many books by Ursula K. Le Guin are going to show up on this list? So, so far, I'm at 35 out of 200, which isn't great. <laughs> I'm 18%, so let's see what the next 40 have in store for us. This is the last page, guys. Muriel Sparks, The Public Image, no. Pat Barker's The Eye in the Door, no. Georgia O'Keeffe, A Life by Roxana Robinson. Secret History by Donna Tartt, no, but I should be reading that this month. George Eliot, Adam Bede, no. Emily New Moon, Ellen Montgomery, no. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, no. Margaret Atwood, The Penelopead, no. Jean Reese, Wife Sargasso C, uh, no. The Hearing Trumpet by Lenora Carrington, no. Moments of Being by Virginia Woolf, no. The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, no. Margaret Atwood's The Year of the Flood, no. Anne of Green Gables, I think I read as a child, but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to mark it. The Secret Garden, no. Uncle Tom's Cabin, no. There's a lot of wind outside. It's happening. Ah, uh, The Flamethrowers by Rachel Kushner. No, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. No, The Giver. Yes, Shirley Jackson's The Haunting Hill. The Haunting of Hill House. No, Under the Net. No, Aris, Aris Murdoch. I have not read that book. Shimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Americana. Yes, Daniel Deronda by George Eliot. No, Jean Rhys, Good Morning Midnight. No, 
Zadie Smith's Feel Free, no. Shirley Jackson's Life Among the Savages, no. Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison, I haven't read this one, no. Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood, no. Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, no. Iris Murdoch's The Bell, no. Tehano, The Last Book of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, no. Pat Barker, Ghost Road is a previous man booker winner that I haven't yet read. Ursula K. Le Guin again, Orsinian Tales, no. Daphne du Maurier, My Cousin Rachel, no. Jazz by Toni Morrison, no. Sounds of the Girls, yes, I read that last month or so. Time Traveler's Wife, yes. Essex Serpent, no. Wolf Hall, have I read Wolf Hall? Is this the first book or the second? I have read Wolf Hall. And it's a previous man book, her book, and but I haven't read the sequel yet. And Zori Neal Hurston's Your Eyes Were Watching God. This would show up, wouldn't it? I have not read that book, which is terrible. So I got 40 out of 200. Let me know in the comments down below how many you got. And let's stop down there. Thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll talk in the comments. I'd love to hear your number and which of these books, which of these 200 books you want to read next so let's talk on there and until next time happy reading bye